first and uh, oh shoot all right so i put it in the wrong spot welcome to blackford sports network home of your blackford bruins and as we try to get things going here uh I have neither one of my uh, co-hosts uh, but tonight I've got the one, the only, Kevin Brown. Kevin, how are you doing tonight? Good, Steve. How are you? Hey, I'm doing all right. If I could just figure out how to get two streams to go at the same time and actually get my money's worth out of it, we'd be doing a lot better. <laughs> That's all right. We got one out of the two going. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know. So, as always, we got to get this ad, this uh, intro in here first so that uh, we can get going. Welcome to the Blackford Sports Network, home of the Blackford Bruins. Thank you for tuning in today. We welcome you to enjoy the broadcast of the Bruins, but ask that you please come to the games to support them. Please enjoy the broadcast and make sure to check out our sponsors, because without them, none of this would be possible. All right, Kevin, we're back. And before the game, you and I were talking, and uh, you said that you had some things that uh, you wanted to talk about with the boys. So why don't you get that going while I start getting these ads pulled up? Yeah, um... Today I talked to uh, I talked to Luke a little bit ago, um, but to start it off this morning, I don't know if you seen it or not. I know you did because uh, I put a tweet out there. Um, the good old Cody Krause, yes. he uh, said he was going to wear number five on his uh, work shirt today, and he uh, did. He did. He did. He didn't let Brandon struggle down. <laughs> um, so I had to talk to Brandon uh, for Cody, and I was like, "Hey, we got to get it going, man. Get a quick start." You got to be on fire. Cody's not here to tell you. Uh, you just got to do it on your own tonight. Um, I also talked to Luke a little bit. Um, you know, he's I, he said, "Man, we slept on the bus." I said, "That's all right. That's good." I said, "Rest up." I said, "But the thing is, you got to you guys got to come out on fire." That's right. Um, you know, you got to come out, set the tone early, run these guys down. Um, I talked to Coach Hoover a little bit uh, around three o'clock, three thirty this afternoon. Um, before the kids got in there uh, watching film. And I asked him, I said, I said, Coach, what's the game plan tonight? He said, I don't know. It's hard to tell. He <laughs> said, he said we didn't practice or we didn't play Saturday. We didn't have anything Sunday and we didn't practice today. He said, so, you know, I don't know what to expect. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, well, Coach, it's like this. I said, I said, if, they, if we didn't play Saturday, they didn't play Saturday. Yeah. Um, so, no, they were probably out enjoying the snowfall, the yeah. first snow of the year, uh, probably out on their sled. So chances are if they caught a nap on the way over here, that they were tired from sledding. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Or shoveling snow, whatever their parents <laughs> yeah. made them do. Absolutely. But I'll tell you what, you know, Winchester's going to be in the same boat we are. Yes. Um, and that's why I try to – that's why I talked to uh, Coach Hoover about today. Um, and he was he was talking about the Miss Sinwall game a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and you know he's got this philosophy. You know, you don't you don't talk about the night before. You know, you talk about the present. That's right. So uh, so we didn't talk about the game very much. Um, but you know, uh, I think I think uh, I think our guys are going to come out on fire tonight. Um, I was kind of concerned on sa Sunday and Monday, all day today. You know, we didn't get in the gym, but. I'm gonna tell you what. There's one guy that got in the gym. I'm I'm almost I, betting every day. I, I, I can I can tell you he did because I saw his uh, Snapchat videos. And Dalton Wilman definitely hit the gym yeah. even with those that snowstorm yeah. that we got. Yeah, Dalton was in the weightlifting gym. Luke was in the gym shooting. Yeah. Um, you know I I was joking with Luke last night on uh, Twitter. Uh, Twitter come out last night early, about a two-hour delay this morning. Yeah. And uh, I sent Luke a message. I said, hey, two-hour delay. He said, what? Why? I said, <laughs> "I said, well, you know, people people in the community are saying Luke Brown needs his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, Luke, Luke Brown needs his sleep. <laughs> That's right. And uh, he, he said, if, he said, if we go on regular time, he said, I'm going to be mad at you. <laughs> I, said, I said, well, Luke, here you go. I said it come from the big boss, Mr. Yitzer. <laughs> he said, all right, I'll buy it. We got the we got the word early on from uh, Model and Messersmith that there was a two-hour delay. And then it just happened to be shortly after that, it started dinging all over Facebook, got the call. Oh, yeah. So we knew uh, really early, which is nice uh, when you do know. Right, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, you got to give them credit for that. Yep. Um, 
But uh, I'm not real sure why. Now, uh, I'll tell you what, I was out on the roads today, and, and our county roads were terrible. Were they really? Um, yeah, yeah, they were slick. Um, but the thing is, you know, we, we had issues with semis. That was the main issue today. Um, not too many cars slide off, but but we dealt with uh, semis. Semis sliding off? Yeah. That's guys who don't know how to drive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I did know that the uh, the county roads were really bad because I have a friend of mine that lives out into the county, um, and he said that on his way to work, we work together. Yeah. He said on his way to work this morning, he said that the county had cleared the roads, but that it, they had refroze and that they were nothing but a solid sheet of ice. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Then uh, we got that north wind last night, and our east-west roads, north lanes, they were just... They were just blowing shut. Yeah. Uh, see, see, I'm pretty fortunate. I uh, live just off of three, so I jumped on three, drove all the way to Fort Wayne, and did not have one issue other than the fact that this morning it was foggy. Yeah, yeah, that fog was weird. Um, it was what I call treetop fog. Yes. Um, it didn't go higher down. than the treetops. No, no, not at all. <laughs> um, you know, so – well, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here watching the Bruins shoot. Uh, we're shooting pretty well. Yeah, uh, yeah I was watching uh, Winchester shoot just a few minutes ago, and, man, they have got a kid that looks to be about 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, I haven't seen saying, Do you have the – Yeah, I got it in the pocket. Right back here. I think the, I think he's showing 6'8". Six, 6'8". Eight. Six, eight. He is he is huge. Yeah. So you, you, you can always oh, take six, a couple. Seven. They're going 6'7". Six, six, seven. Seven. Yeah, sophomore. So, Oh my goodness! Sophomore six seven. That young man is—he's—he's he's every bit. There's nobody that's even close to his shoulders. No. Well, here, here's the thing: you got you got Mark White underneath. You yep. got Nathan Brown. Yep. You got Dalton Wilman. Yep. You got Stephen Hoover. Yep. You got Big Drake Ramsey. Yep. You know what? What's he gonna do? You know, there's 20 fouls. Yeah, I did notice least. he was shoot trying to shoot outside shots. I'm not sure why a big guy like that is shooting outside shots. But he wasn't coming anywhere close. He just shot a free throw and, and missed it. But, I mean, that's because somebody else was shooting at the same time. I, talked, he does to, make that uh, one. I talked to a couple guys uh, about this guy that we're talking about um, earlier tonight. Uh, he plays on a travel league out of Indianapolis. Oh, does he? Yeah. Um, but I think if we shut him down, you know, he's a good, he's a good inside player. Yeah. Um, so is he a guy that you'd put Stephen Hoover on, or is he a guy that you just leave Andrew Beckley on and, and uh, let him no, I think, disrupt him? I think you're going to have to put Mark White on him. Yeah? Um, yeah, because he's going to play underneath. Um, he's not going to be out front or anything like that. Right. But sitting here watching him, he's looks like he's got a flat shot. You know? He does. Um, so, you know, if if Mark can get in and bang him around a little bit, let's switch off and throw some big other big guys on him. Maybe you know, get the youngster in foul trouble. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing. You know, if we get him in foul trouble early, you know, they don't have any other big guys to compete with that. Right. Uh, but I tell you, you know, we got to come out with our game and just and just run. Yeah. Uh, so how do you think Winchester's going to play defense on us tonight? I think they're going to try to match up man-to-man. Man-to-man uh, -man seems to be the best way to play our – to play against us. Right. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything on Winchester. I didn't even watch the tape with Coach Hoover. He had a he had it up, but it was paused in the in the film room today. <laughs> um, so I can't tell you what what offense or what defense they're going to run. Um, but the thing is, you know, we'll, as good as Luke is, Luke can beat his man, get into the middle, get that big guy in some trouble. Um, you know, we just got to be careful on that. Uh, don't pick up any charges. Um, yeah. That's going to be our thing is keeping Mark White out of foul trouble. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, um, and even if you have Drake Ramsey, you can use Drake Ramsey in there um, and let him bang bodies with him. Right. Um, but we're going to have to get in there and, and uh, bang around with this with this young kid. I mean, he's, he's obviously uh, he's obviously extremely tall. Yeah. It's funny sitting over here watching, uh, watching those referees when Luke's shooting. Um, you know, you know, the one guy sees him shooting and he goes and tells the other two. Yeah. That's funny. Now, learn something about Luke Brown today. What's that? And you may have to. 
Um, but I have gotten three notifications today of a Max Preps stat that shows Luke Brown for points per game as number three, not in the state, but in the nation. Um, I seen, I, I heard that last week. I think, uh, I think I was talking to Tony Ugin or somebody like that, and it was last I knew he was fourth in the nation as a sophomore. He is now number three. I got that from David Van Horn. I got it from Cody Krause and uh, seen it on Facebook. Uh, there you go. So it's got to be true if it came from Facebook, right? right yeah, absolutely. Everything on Facebook's true. <laughs> <laughs> also, something new for Blackford Sports Network that people may or may not know. I have gotten a few followers on it. Blackford Sports Network now has a Twitter page that you can communicate with us. Nice. And it's real simple. It's just Blackford Sports Network. And you can go out there on, uh, on Twitter and give us a follow. Now, obviously, tonight we won't be able to do much Twittering because of the poor connection inside of the building. But when we do have good connections, we will be tweeting uh, let's see what we got here. throughout got, the game. I got a couple tweets uh, while we're sitting here. So, yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me pull this up, see what we got here. Uh, search Blackford Sports Network. Uh, like I said, I did get a few followers from it. Um, let me hang on a second. I got to get back to. Oh yeah, I've got three new notifications from it. Uh, is it under Blackford Sports? Uh, wait a second. I retweeted your. Yeah, oh, I retweeted go. your thing, so you should be able to find it through that. Ah, oh, there we go. I got it. Blackford Sports Network. We're gonna hit follow. Hey, you did follow me. Yeah, there we go. On behalf of the Indiana High School Athletic Association. All right, so we got a lot of time, a lot of quiet time here. But uh, I got a, a you and I think that's Ashley Wilman. Yep, Ashley Wilman is following. So I will try to tweet tonight. Um, just to uh, let the fans know what's going on, hopefully. But uh, obviously you're going to be watching this later on because we're just recording it and then we're going to upload it later. But, uh, yeah, Blackford with a new – Blackford uh, Sports Network with a new – ooh, Nate Brown takes one to the head. Oh, yeah. With a new Twitter profile. And feel free to tweet at us, tell us hi. And uh, as always, make sure you're telling our sponsors, thank you. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Look where Coach Hoover's at right now. Right out there with the <laughs> officials. <laughs> oh, what a uh -huh. guy. Yeah, here we go. I'll tell you what, if anybody's seen him Friday night, unbelievable. You would never think an 84-year-old guy get that excited. <laughs> yes, so you seen my video, right? <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> That was that that video has gotten quite a few likes. But uh, you know what video has gotten a lot more? Which one's that? The one of Luke Brown shooting the volleyball three. Jake Fox retweeted it. And we are trying to get that on um, Sports Center's top ten. But I watched Sports Center's top ten from today. And not very many of them compare to what Luke Brown did on Sat on Friday night. I'll tell you what, that was unbelievable. Oh, you know, <laughs> and here's here's what's funny, you know, you got when he when we talk to him, you know, uh, or you guys talk to him and, uh, after the game and stuff. When he said, "Hey, I knew it was good when I left my hands." Yeah, you know, that's that's a confident kid right there. Yeah. You know how many how many people said yeah I knew it was in as soon as I let go of it yeah um, but you know like I when I listened to your guys broadcast last week uh, you know 
he, he does that stuff in the gym all the time. See, that's what I try to tell people. People have been telling me that that, that have watched it because uh, I sent it off to a bunch of buddies uh, that don't live in Indiana just to kind of get a reaction from them. Uh-huh. And every one of them were like, junk shot. No. And no. I was like, no, this kid practices these shots. How can it be junk if you practice it? Oh, yeah. And then their exact words were, well, lucky then. Yeah, <laughs> lucky. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you why. You know. So, that said, Sports Center Top 10 today had a shot from a female uh, 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 NCAA player, I believe. Half court shot. She shoots it up, makes it. That's a top 10 play because, well, that was uh, not a junk shot. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, I would rather take that three that he shot than any half court shot that you can put up. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, uh, you know, he, he, he's just a good shooter overall. Yeah, I mean, he is. You know, if, if, it was, if it was a guy that wasn't – Let's say, let's go with our uh, earlier statement. Third in the nation in scoring. Yeah. And it was somebody just threw up a shot. Okay, I'll buy that. Yeah. But you know what? It's not. That's coming from a guy that's third in the nation in scoring. <laughs> and, uh, you know. And he practices yeah. every day. And the crazy thing is, is I was literally in the gym Wednesday before that game and watching him practice. And I can assure you that he practiced that shot probably four times sure. just on Wednesday. Absolutely. So, and I don't know if you've seen it or not. The uh, the there was somebody sitting on the front row, second row, over there uh, underneath our Blackford band. They had a phenomenal video of that. Oh yeah. I mean, that was close up as close up gets. Yes. I mean, that's and you could see he had his eye on the goal oh, the entire time. He got his shoulders squared around as much as he could, and it wasn't just that he threw it up. No. He shot it with one hand. That's Absolutely. all you can say about it. So, for anyone out there who's saying that it was a Ladies junk shot time, or that it was lucky, uh, you just don't the understand right. uh, the dedication that this kid puts in. Absolutely. So, with that, we're going to go to some short breaks while we get to the national anthem. Foundation Building Material is your building materials supplier for all your building materials needs. From drywall, steel studs, to Armstrong ceiling tile and insulation, Foundation Building Material is founded on principle and built on purpose. Contact Aaron Farrell today at 260-472-2181. Are you looking for custom shirts for your organization, sports team, or just a fun shirt for vacation? Get a hold of Jordan Massey today on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. Contact Jordan with all of your special shirt designs and printing. His creations are amazing and he even does special projects. Contact Jordan now on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. Are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave's Car Corner. They sell the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Stop in and see him today at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City, or give him a call at 765-348-5770. All right, we're back, and uh, they're doing the starting lineups right now, and while we're figuring out who the starters are going to be, we're going to go ahead and fire off another ad, and we'll be right back after this short ad. Are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave's Car Corner. They sell the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Stop in and see him today at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City, or give him a call at 765-348-5770. And we're back. And I'm trying to figure out. Oh, man, we've got to figure out this whole replay system. I changed it to 10 seconds, um, but uh, it's not really working. I'm having, having a hard time getting the good replay. So, but anyway, here we are. Uh, did they tell you who the starters were for Blackford? Did you catch that? Uh, I didn't catch that. I was, uh, I was sitting at a tweet out. Um, 
Oh, I'm going to be fired off the wrong ad. We're going to do it again. We're going to try this ad again so that Clear Choice Chiropractic gets their time. Are you suffering from neck, back, or joint pain? Clear Choice Chiropractic can help. From neck pain, migraines, stress, or a colicky baby, Clear Choice Chiropractic has the tools necessary to help you live pain-free. Call Dr. Malia Robertson today at 765-329-5044 and schedule an appointment. Don't live another day in pain. Call now, 765-329-5044. All right, we're back here at Winchester, Indiana at the Fieldhouse. Is that what this is called? Yeah, this is the Winchester Fieldhouse. Not the, the Winchester Fieldhouse, a really cool-looking uh, uh, stadium here, or uh, not a stadium, a uh, field house. Um, but the one thing that I'm noticing is I, I always thought Winchester had a really big band. I thought they used to. But their band is maybe 15 strong at best. But let me tell you, they're still over there rocking. Starters for your Bruins are going to be Dalton Willman, Brandon Strobel, uh, Luke Brown, Caleb Neely, and Mark White. Number 50. They got that, they got that number 50. That's a 6'5 junior. I, I don't think he's 6'5. <laughs> Brandon Strobel jumping for us. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Strobel gets the jump ball. Looks like we're in a man to man defense. And we'll get the scoreboard oh, overlaid Strobel. for you. We will have to tell you the time and the time that's left uh, due to the girls having the. Other camera system. Luke Brown for, for three, three, and that's good. There it is. That's the way you want to start off right. here. Good shot. Got in his face. Let's see. Well, we're in a. Uh, Looks like we're in a 1-3 one, one, zone. I don't know. With a face guard. Oh. A foul by Brown. Luke Brown. That's unusual. That's unusual. That's all right. You get five for a reason. Well, here you go. That's an official that's not used to playing with that caliber of kid. So now we have uh, number 10 shooting two. The first one's good. Uh-oh. That kind of startled me. The student section. It's hard to it's hard to tell our fans because we're mixed in with everybody. And a good uh, good job tonight. blocking out by Dalton Wilman. Yeah, our uh, and Dalton Wilman, Wilman for, for three. three. Ooh, oh, that, that was, was well rough. off the mark. Strobel puts it up, missed it. Nobody there, nobody there. And Mealy yeah. gets away with another <laughs> foul, two games in a row. <laughs> Winchester moving the ball around. Uh, now they're nobody. shooting a three. We didn't have anybody out there. Nobody was out there. Luke Brown calling the play here. He's wanting the screen up top. Oh, oh Luke falls, falls down. down. That's all right. Gets it down to Willman. Willman uh, shut. Oh, Strobel, and we missed it again. Oh, Mealy with the steal. Puts it. Oh, oh he's got travel. Oh. oh, he didn't get the travel. And now they're going to get a foul on number 10. Wow, that was ugly. Wow, what was that going was on? Ugly. So, now I know we said that there should have been a travel there, but to me it did not look like Mealy left his left no, foot. No, he he kept it down, but holy cow! A, a lucky Brown. break for three. Brown, up. that's a little off. Hold on, I don't know if you've seen that or not. Oh, who are they gonna call it on? Oh, are they gonna call Mark White with a foul? He was going for, going the, for ball. the ball. Ooh. Ooh, he said it was on the body. That the fans are not happy uh, with that one here. At the field house. The one referee we've had before. Um, uh, the other one, the one that you said didn't. I think we've had two of them. Uh, I don't know. We've had the guy down low, and we've had the guy out here at the top. Oh, okay. Winchester getting it down low. He puts it off the – now, who's that foul going to be on? Called Dalton Wilmer. Are you kidding me? Wow. It, this may be one of those games. And we will try to hold our breath and not badmouth the officials. We're just getting out hustled right now. We'll be all right. Yep. Getting out hustled to three is good. 
The Bruins now trailing 7-3, 6.06 left in the first. Brown out to the volleyball line. You know, I asked Coach Hoover about this one day. I said, Coach, why does it take us so long to get going? Travel by and, Mark uh, White. He, 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 he tried to explain to me that, you know, they're trying to figure out what defense they're in and everything uh, within the first two, three, four minutes. Right. And Winchester drives it in, but Dalton, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Brandon Strobel gets the rebound. Looks like Winchester's big guy's getting ready to come in. Luke for a three. three by Luke, no good. Where's the rebound? We're not, we're not rebounding. There was nobody there three. for the rebound. Another three. Oh. That's way up. Oh, and Mealy. uh, Mealy's going to pick up a foul. Blocked out just a little bit too hard. And it looks like Mealy's going to come out. Yeah, you got uh, Andrew, Andrew Beckley, Beckley ready to come might in. be coming in. You got in. the Winchester big man getting ready to come in. You know, I was, I was kind of afraid of this uh, coming into the, tonight's game, you know. I don't know if we were mentally prepared. Um, hopefully we were. Tough circumstance. Oh, he gets three? Yeah, yeah, he was shooting a three-pointer. All right, they're it big was guys obviously in. after the shot, though. Man. But uh, but I tried to, you know, I tried to get them to get everybody up and ready to go. Uh, yep. You know, it's still early. It's still early, and, and that's all right. We've been known to come back. Oh, Mark, Mark you got to shoot that. Don't be afraid. Luke and they three. three. That's the one thing that, that that I really struggle with with Mark White. Mark White is a very aggressive player. But when it comes to getting the ball down low, he just will not shoot it. He no. won't go up and try to get that foul. Oh, and now we're going to have a blocking block. foul on Brandon Strobel. Wow. You got to look at something here. We're down five to one in fouls in three minutes. Not a good start for the Bruins. The Bruins in foul trouble. Shoot. No. Th oh, and Mark White gets a block on nice the big guy. Block. Oh, and that's going to go out of bounds. We had the opportunity and just couldn't make it work. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my that was goodness. A good block by Mark White. I missed an extra point there, so. The uh, 442 left in the in the first. Winchester almost in bonus. Moving the ball around the top of the key. Now it looks like Blackford's in a 2-3, but they are still face guarding number 22. Dalton Wilman on the face guard. They try to get it down low, but Brandon Strobel picks it off. Brown drives in, a little 10-footer is good. in. Luke's got all eight for Blackford. And that, and that, I hate to see that because you're putting all of this pressure on a on a 16, 17-year-old kid. Here's the thing. We, we've got guys taking shots. There you oh, go. and he just literally took it like a football pass, takes there it up, go. and it's good. Is that what you call pick six? <laughs> <laughs> that might be a pick six. Almost looked like, oh, and the big man puts one up yeah. in there. we got to stop that backside. We had no backside help on that. Right. Luke already cleaning the dust off the bottom of his shoes. Oh, now the big go. man's out there on him, and that's going to leave Mark White good wide job. open for two. Good job. And that's what that's, that's what's what so good about yeah, that's what's good about Luke Brown is he's not afraid to give the ball up. Yeah, he does score 40 points a game, but he's not he's not afraid to to give that ball up to another player. I was going to say there should have been a travel yeah, there, but absolutely, <laughs> absolutely good defense, Mark White. Very good defense by White. And uh, somebody new came in for Winchester. I didn't get to see who it was. Uh, 34, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's number 34. Anyway. Oh, Luke Brown, deep three, and good. Another three by yeah. Brown. 
He's on fire. Brown's got his rhythm here at Winchester. Now, do you know why we're playing here and not at Winchester High School? I don't know. They always, every, well, Nathan's a senior, and we've played the games here. Is this where it's always been? Yeah. yeah it's a nice little shot here. by number 10. So I don't know if they have a, don't have a gym or what. I, I don't know. I always thought that we played at Winchester. Oh, Mark White. All right. Good job, Mark White. I didn't see what Foul happened. on White, number 12. No, is it number yeah, 12? Yeah. Okay. Mark had a pick for Luke, and the guy plowed him over. Nice job, and Blackford maintains the ball. A uh, little body, body bump there to Luke Brown. And Brown goes all the way across the half-court line to get the ball. Gives it over to uh, Strobel. Strobel drives it in, and that's going to be an easy two, buck, two points. Turn around, turn around, turn around. There we and go. number 10 seems to be leading the charge here. And that one's not going to go in. And where's the over the back call? Yeah, no kid. Brown gets the rebound, takes it. To, oh, a nice job by number 10 to get back and uh, sure get that block on Beckley. Oh, Brown's uh, tying his shoe pat yeah. before midcourt. What we got here? Now yeah, they're letting somebody come in. Yeah, we've got two people coming in. And uh, I've gotten a couple of text messages here. Yeah, now I'm getting even more. Uh, it's obvious Luke's not getting any calls. Oh, uh, a yeah. nice two by Luke. A little fadeaway jumper. Yeah. Luke's wanting a foul. Oh, a nice spin move by number 10, but he gives it up. Oh, and the dunk is missed. Blocked. The dunk is missed. Oh, Beckley takes go. it all the way down and, and gets the foul. foul. And that's exactly what you need. Absolutely. Absolutely. Way to take it to the hole. And now it looks like Stephen Hoover might be coming in, but Andrew Beckley's going to the line shooting two. I don't know who's coming out. I don't know if it's Mark or if it's uh, Dalton. Coach was talking to Dalton just a minute ago. And the first shot by Beckley is good. Good. The Bruins now oh. lead 20-13 to 13 with a minute 28 to go in the first. Stefan's coming in for uh, Beckley, it looks like. Oh, really? Yeah. He must not have liked the way Beckley went up for that rebound. Oh, sorry about that. Blackford up 21-13, 125 to go in the first. And Winchester now just struggling getting the ball moved around. Stephen Hoover out the top playing some defense. Oh. Another jumper by 10, no good. Rebound goes to tipping it around. Oh, on the floor, Mark White. And Stephen Hoover limping. Another one on Mark White. That's his second. second yeah. Five fouls on the Bruins, uh, the ones that are on the floor, two of them to Mark White. And into the big man, a good defense by White. That's all you can do is put your hands up there. Let him, let him run into you, but, you know, get it out a little further from him. Don't yes. let him get it in that close. Absolutely. Strobel for Strobel three. for three, a little on the long side. Rebound goes to Winchester. He drives it all the way in, gives it up, and it's no good. Rebounds, no good. Strobel. And Strobel's going to go up there and get the rebound, and now we're going to have a foul on number 22. And the fouls are getting called both ways now, six to four. Yeah. Here comes Caleb Mealy in for Mark White. White's going to have uh, take a break. Oh, Luke, I don't know what happened there. He may have lost <laughs> the ball. He lost it. Tries to still get it up, but not able to. That layup's no good. The big man gets it and puts it back in. I got to say, you know, he, we got to block him out. Let him go over our back. And I don't know, it sounds like the fans might not be. Dalton Wilman for three. 
and he misses. Wow, that was a big throw. I hit right in the middle of the backboard. Did it really? Yeah. Nice. All right, so after one, it's 21-17 uh, in the Bruins' favor. And we'll be right back after a short break and with the second quarter. Foundation Building Material is your building materials supplier for all your building materials needs. From drywall, steel studs, to Armstrong ceiling tile and insulation, Foundation Building Material is founded on principle and built on purpose. Contact Aaron Farrell today at 260-472-2181. And we're back, and we're going to end up taking a couple of breaks here just because that's the way our uh, software works. But uh, here, listen to Jordan Massey. Are you looking for custom shirts for your organization, sports team, or just a fun shirt for vacation? Get a hold of Jordan Massey today on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. Contact Jordan with all of your special shirt designs and printing. His creations are amazing, and he even does special projects. Contact Jordan now on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. All right, we're back. The Bruins leading 21 to 17 here uh, to be to start the second quarter, and it looks like uh, Mark White is the only one that's out from the original starting five, and Stephen Hoover is taking his place. Who's going to block the big guy? I'm going to guess that that would be Hoover, but uh, oh, he's Caleb out. Mealy. He's out at the top, and it is Mealy. That's all right. Mealy's got five fouls. <laughs> Uh, well, he's he's got uh, one. Yeah, well, he's got four left. All right. <laughs> he's got four left. Yeah. And they get it out, moving Big the ball around the top of the key. Hoover Good is defense. on number oh, 10. Yeah. And what Good a defense. defense. Wow. Careful. He has not given up an inch, and that shot is no good. Oh, no foul called. Oh, <laughs> Oh my God! And they're calling it on number 54. Wow. That got no, good. they're calling it on. <coughs> oh my goodness. Called on Stephen Hoover. That got Coach Hoover up off the bench. And they are shooting a one and one. So. Yeah, not sure uh, what happened there, but. One and one, and he got it. Did he get it? Yeah. Uh, I missed it. We've got seven points. And eight. Oh, they're taking a the big man out, taking him out. Oh, he shot both of them and won. got it, huh? Yeah. He looks tired. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He didn't want to come out, but uh, he looks a little winded. Luke pulls it back to the corner. He wants Stephen Hoover up the top. Over to Dalton Wilman. Dalton Wilman for three. Good. Wilman for three. Need to get him on fire. Sorry, I was reading a text message from uh, Grant that said uh, he had found a hot spot amplifier. Oh. So that may be something that we end up buying here in the future just to get our broadcast out no matter where we oh, are. Absolutely. Luke Brown out to the top. There he goes. Oh, kicks it to Dalton Wilman again. Dalton Wilman, what's he going to do with it? He's getting it back to Luke. Luke dribbles back to Dalton. Oh, and he travels. Who did? Dalton. Oh, Dalton. Try to take it off before he put the ball down. What was the score at half? 21 17? 21 17 at half. Not at half. Or <laughs> after <laughs> the, the first. Of, after the first. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and the big man looks like he's coming back, back in. in. And it looks like number 10 is obviously oh. their best. And number 50 misses the hook shot. What's Luke going to do with it? Luke's waiting on Stefan. Stefan instead of pick up the top. Well, Luke just moving the ball there around, and they get the foul. He did have his arm wrapped around him, and that's uh, going to be five fouls on. And that's his second foul for Campbell. And he's coming out of the game, and 54 is back in. They got two of their big guys in there now. Let's yeah. see what we can do. <clears throat> Look like Luke might be calling a play here. 
There he goes. He drives it all the way in, stops just short, gets his own rebound, rebound and puts it back in. All right, Mealy's back. Mealy's got the big guy again. Into him. Oh, good and defense big, by Yes, Mealy. good defense that by Mealy. Good. Kept him from even trying the That's shot. Right. Good defense, Stefan. And not – Oh, man. Was over the back. I knocked our guy down. I know. Here Again, goes. we have to say this. Here Officials are uh, – Luke, Luke tries to on. put one off the top of the back. Come board. on, Luke. Officials Three. are human. They are going to make mistakes. Stephen Hoover, come on. Hoover's going to get the rebound. Uh -oh. He's taking it all the way. Uh oh. Oh, he tries. Oh, sorry, I didn't get the get the camera back. Oh, and what a pass! And it's up by the big. Oh, and Mealy. Mealy. Oh, Mealy didn't think so. Dalton didn't think so. Luke didn't think so. Yeah. But we got one official. That well, let's. Let's see what uh, what we have here, and uh, maybe we can find some. Oh, I think we got the very end of it. So, big man up for one, and good. So a three-point play with a Mealy foul. Mealy now with two Blackford on the up, game. Blackford up 26-24 with 4:53 to go in the second. There we go. Come on, Luke. Oh, what a nice pass, but uh, Mealy almost lets it go by him. Gets it down into Strobel. Strobel for the jumper, no good. We're just throwing the ball up right now. We went from shooting a good ball to a three-pointer. Another three, no good. And I don't know why Mealy. the big man ended up on the floor. I don't but know. I think he tripped over his own feet because I don't think there's anybody around him. It didn't look like it. But here we are, 420 left. And, and we're going to get another foul on number 22, his second. One more foul, and we'll be one, shooting one and one. One more foul, and both teams will be in the bonus. Oh, oh and another foul. He picks up two quick fouls, and that one's going to send uh, Luke, to the line. Luke to the line, but not before putting the Bruins in bonus. So number 22 should be coming out of this game with three fouls. Two shots. And his first is good. And and with that last game on Friday, did you see that Luke Brown passed like three or four Bruins for all-time scoring leader? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and and he got to meet one of the players that he passed, Greg Glancy. Really? Yes. Nice. Before or after the game? I don't remember. I think it was before the game because it was upstairs. Here we go. And now the Bruins in press. press. Full court press. Let's see what? Uh oh. Oh, we got lucky there. The big yes, man was did. up underneath. Oh, and, foul and Stefan definitely made that foul worth it. Uh, the big man not able to put it in the basket, but now he's going to go to the line shooting two. Stefan Hoover, that's his second. Is it his second yeah. already? That's right. He had this one out here in the middle. The first shot's up and good. I'll tell you what, watching that guy warm up, I didn't think he had a very good stroke from the free throw line. But he, but he does. He, he does. He's, yeah. he's doing really well tonight. And his second's up and good. Brown with the ball, bringing it up past half court. A pick by Mealy. A Dalton shot Wilman by three. Wilman. That looks good. good. We backed out of the man to man. Mealy's on the big guy. Mealy doing very oh. well. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they're gonna they're asking the referees asking them both to come over. That's right. No, you don't want to mess with quarterback. <laughs> you don't want to mess with the quarterback. Not sure what happened underneath there, but <laughs> Mealy went flying. And the coach is up trying to talk with the yeah. officials. 
and all they wanted to do was push uh -oh. him back. You see that? Luke Brown in 54 got into it. Really? Yeah. It does, doesn't look like it takes much to get him uh, no. upset. Three. Good. Good. I think we're going to have uh, some unnecessary fouls. A three by Brown. Is, oh, they're they giving him two. two. He was one step in. He was one, one step, step in. in. Doesn't matter. The Bruins still leading 33 to oh, 29. I must have missed the. Big man out the top. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and Mealy smiling about it. Travel. Travel. <laughs> there it was. There it was. A good job by the Bruins. Yeah, good job. Mealy, all them guys. And a very interesting game going on here. <laughs> and Brown. Doing a lot of running around here now. Oh, and we're going to oh, have it over the, back over the back by 54, and he's going to pick up a second. second foul. And now 54 is coming out, and 50 coming back in. The Winchester fans behind us wanted to travel on Mealy, but not called. 2.32 left in the half. Mealy misses his first. Winchester. Uh-oh, uh -oh, back up three. They no good. It. And oh, Strobel, Strobel with the rebound. Blackford needs to go. Gives it up to Brown. Brown doing some footwork, drives it on in. Oh, he misses. Oh, oh Mealy saves it, but saves it to a Winchester player. I couldn't see that, but it, it may have been. Oh, three. A three is no good. Rebound lands right Man, in Mealy's no. lap. Dalton Wilman. Back to Luke Brown. Luke Brown setting it up, trying to figure out what he's going to do. There's a minute 43. He drives around, gives it up, the but ball. number 10 gets it away. Yeah, they got a hand in there on that one. Come on, guys. And the Falcons coach oh, hollering nice some shot. direction, a nice shot, spin move. They had uh, Hoover. Oh, and Luke Brown calls timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good timeout to call right here. And, uh, wow, what a first half we have going on here. Both teams in a lot of foul trouble with some of their starters. Uh, leading scorers for the Falcons at number 10. I, I don't have his name. Uh, and leading scorer for the Bruins is obviously Luke Brown already with 21 points uh, in the first half. That number, that number uh, 10 is uh, his name's Wade Sickles. Who? Wade Sickles. Wayne Sickles. Wade. Wade Sickles. Little sophomore guard. All right, trying to. From what I can see so far, it looks like we're just trying to, we're just trying to do dumb things, you know, um, taking terrible shots. I. I'm not going to say all shots were bad, but, man, we, we took some silly shots. There towards the end, it seemed like uh, our shot selection was not the greatest. Yeah, it seemed like there for a while we went on that run, and all of a sudden we fell back into playing with them, you know, instead of – and that's what I always said. I, I, I want to see these guys – I want to see these guys put them away instead of playing with them. And that goes back to what I said earlier is – you know, play our game, not their game. Yep, exactly. You know. Couldn't say it better. Luke's back in the corner. And we want to thank Mark Williams. He says he's watched every live stream since we've started, uh, but unable to, uh, not Williams, Wilhelms. 
Uh, hasn't been able to tonight. Um, he's sure a what, 1989 grad. I'm not sure what we're doing here. Luke from free throw line and misses. Gets his own rebound. Over to and Mealy. Over to Mealy. Mealy's going to get fouled. Good. Send him to the line, shooting two. Good pass by Luke. And now the Bruins in a double bonus. No, not the Winchester. Five the zero. Bruins. That's his no, six. no, I'm sorry. The Bruins have one more foul to give up. I was, th I was thinking that was a 50-second foul, but they got his first. Mealy for a second. And it's missed it. So, Rebound Strobel. Oh, yeah, there it is. Strobel up, and he misses one. Can't hit Owen. it. <laughs> wow, you, you got probably could have called Ooh. a foul on uh, Beckley. He yeah. slapped the hand. <laughs> yeah, he did. But what's the old saying? Hands part of the ball, I guess. Yeah, depends on what we're <laughs> playing at. Oh, it's out of bounds. Beckley takes it off the face. Here we go, we've got 23.8 seconds left in the second quarter. Blackford up 34-31. We're the clock running down, and it doesn't look like uh, Brown is in any hurry to get this ball up the court. Now down to 10. Now we're at eight. There goes Luke, and he lost Luke it. Luke drives it in. Oh my An gosh. Off a non-stable shot, nope. and that last shot is up, and they're no, calling it no good before it even lands. All right, so here we are at halftime. Uh oh we got Coach Uber there. Want to talk to some referees at halftime. All right, so let's get to some of our sponsors. Make sure we're thanking them, and if you haven't yet, make sure you let them know you appreciate it. Are you suffering from neck, back, or joint pain? Clear Choice Chiropractic can help. From neck pain, migraines, stress, or a colicky baby, Clear Choice Chiropractic has the tools necessary to help you live pain-free. Call Dr. Malia Robertson today at 765-329-5044 and schedule an appointment. Don't live another day in pain. Call now, 765-329-5044. <laughs> All right, we're laughing here because Kevin Brown just rattled off a whole bunch of stats while we were at commercial, which none of you could hear. So, Kevin, why don't you go ahead and say that again? <laughs> All right. Leading to Blackford Bruins uh, halftime, Luke Brown with 21. Uh, Caleb Mealy with one. Andrew Beckley with two. Dalton Wilman with six. And Brandon Strobel with two. That is Blackford's 34 points. Is that it, right? That's the, it. The, the starting five that's have the, <laughs> the 35 points. Well, I don't know about that, but that's all we got up on the board. 10, 11. Nope. There's got to be somebody because that's only 32. So somebody on the bench has two points. Yeah. Maybe Hoover? Maybe. Might be Hoover. All right, so we're going to go to another break and let uh, Kevin get out of here and do whatever he wants to do. And <laughs> we'll be back. Foundation Building Material is your building materials supplier for all your building materials needs. From drywall, steel studs, to Armstrong ceiling tile and insulation, Foundation Building Material is founded on principle and built on purpose. Contact Aaron Farrell today at 260-472-2181. And we're back. And again, Kevin's uh, on his way to uh, the facilities here, probably to get some nachos or a hot dog or something. But uh, we're going to be right back after this word from Jordan Massey and Clothing as a Canvas. Are you looking for custom shirts for your organization, sports team, or just a fun shirt for vacation? Get a hold of Jordan Massey today on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. Contact Jordan with all of your special shirt designs and printing. His creations are amazing, and he even does special projects. Contact Jordan now on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. All right, we're back. And uh, I'm sitting here sending a, a message out uh, to uh, somebody who's having some Internet troubles. Uh, if you are having troubles viewing our streams uh, after we've done gone live, so this is after we're live and you want to go back and watch a, a video, and it's uh, jumpy or it's pausing or it's not moving in, in, in a flowing fashion, uh, the first thing that you need to check is your internet connection. 
Uh, speedof.me is a good start. If you're, you know, under five megabits per second, I believe is what it is, um, you probably won't be, have a good connection because these these streams take a lot to to get uploaded, especially if they're uh, if we broadcast them in HD, uh, which we do have the capability of, and that's what we're broadcasting in tonight is uh, HD quality. Uh, so if you're struggling with that, check that. If that doesn't work, go on to YouTube, and it, there's a, uh, a little thing on the corner of the screen that um, will have what it's being, what you're watching it in. Um, I watched the Mississippi game last night, and it was in 480p, which is a low version, so it's it's kind of grainy um, and things like that. But th that may be how you have to watch it. So uh, if that's the case, uh, just go to speedof.me uh, on whatever you're trying to watch it on. If you're trying to watch it on your Fire Stick, which is what I do, uh, you can just go to one of your one of your browsers uh, on the Fire Stick or Roku or Apple TV and type in speedof.me and if you've got less than a, a four or a five uh, chances are you're buffering and buffering is what's causing your um, video to stop and then restart and then stop and then restart uh, but with that uh, we're going to get to another one of our sponsors uh, dave's car corner and again let him know that you appreciate him sponsoring are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave's Car Corner. They sell the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Stop in and see him today at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City, or give him a call at 765-348-5770. All right, we're back as Kevin Brown's leaning on me. Uh, coming up, and we're going to let him uh, get himself situated uh, before we start asking him a bunch of questions about what's going to happen in the second half. Are you suffering from neck, back, or joint pain? Clear Choice Chiropractic can help. From neck pain, migraines, stress, or a colicky baby, Clear Choice Chiropractic has the tools necessary to help you live pain-free. Call Dr. Malia Robertson today at 765-329-5044 and schedule an appointment. Don't live another day in pain. Call now, 765-329-5044. And we're back. We're going to put Kevin Brown on the spot, but not quite yet. We're going to let uh, FBM get their uh, spot in, and we'll be back with more Kevin Brown after this. Foundation Building Material is your building materials supplier for all your building materials needs. From drywall, steel studs, to Armstrong ceiling tile and insulation, Foundation Building Material is founded on principle and built on purpose. Contact Aaron Farrell today at 260-472-2181. And we're back, and now I'm going to put it, Kevin on the spot. Kevin. Yes, sir. What do the Bruins have to do to extend this lead? To need, more than just three points. We need to come out and play our game. Um, you know, we're, like I said earlier in the broadcast, we are getting up, and then all of a sudden, we go back to playing their game. I, right. You know, we're taking terrible shots. Luke's trying to force too many underneath. You know, good shots, but he's not getting a foul. So yep. we got we got to change that up a little bit. Um, but, you know, Mealy's got to hit some free throws. I think he's one of – what, one of four? Yeah. Uh, you know, Dalton's shooting well, but we got to get Strobel on board. Uh, Strobel's had some good shots, but they're not falling. So I, I don't really know, but I, I think we're going to have to go back to playing our game. Yeah, we definitely need to play our game. Defensively, the Bruins are doing well. I think they're, they're, they're right where they need to be. Uh, maybe not foul as much. Right. Try not to foul, but defensively, we're right where we need to be. Offensively, we just got to hit shots. Yeah. Um, See, so you're doing what I was doing a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got Cody Krause talking to me. <laughs> yeah, Cody realized that I stopped answering his questions. So. <laughs> he moved on. Uh, yeah, but I, I just talked to Brandon after uh, after halftime when he was coming out of the locker room. And I was like, Brandon, let's go. Step it up. Play your game. Yep. Um, you know, for some reason, 
for some reason, we look timid a little bit. Uh, shots aren't falling. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have that again. We had, we're coming off of a, a couple snow days. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, you know, that's never a good way to start your, your week. Yeah, absolutely. You know. And then you hear today that we're expected to get another 12 to 15. Absolutely. This coming weekend. So, well, you know, it, it's really tough to uh, come out here and play on a Monday and turn around and play Frankton on Friday. Yep. Uh, gives us three days to prepare. Um, so, hopefully, you know. But, I, you know, like I said, I was afraid we were going to have a little letdown. I think we have. Um, hopefully, we can set third quarter, we usually look pretty good. Um, so, hopefully – I heard uh, Coach Coach Doolin say something about going back to the starters. If that's the case, then hopefully we can pump that lead back up. Yep, we need to keep Mealy out of foul trouble already with two fouls going into the second half. Uh, and and I, I know this may come as a surprise. Andrew Beckley with zero fouls. Yeah, yeah. Still face guarding, but Luke Brown with one. Yeah, absolutely. Do you, do you think maybe That's, they uh, messed up and put Luke for the foul that Andrew Beckley caused? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just got a message asking, hey, why isn't Nathan playing? I have no idea. I can't answer that. That's a good question. Uh, I knew going into last week with Miss Sinewell they were going to change things up a little bit. And uh, I just love Don Hoover's purple glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like I said, I don't know. I, I don't know why Nathan's not playing. Uh, you know, it's not my job to go to the coach and say, hey, why, hey, is, why is he not play? playing? You know, that means Nathan's got to work harder in practice. That's what uh, I keep telling my boy. Uh, uh, I, of course, he never asked because he already knows. Um, but, I mean, y- y- if, y- if you want to know why you're not playing, that, that's up for the student. Right. Absolutely. Not up to the parents. Absolutely. The students need to be the ones. That's how you teach kids. Um how to cope in life is they have to know how to handle those situations. Right. Because what happens when they go to the workforce? Are they going to come to their mommy and find out why they're not getting any hours at work? Right, absolutely. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not the one to go to the coach and say, hey, why isn't my kid play? Nope, That's not me. I. You know, I'm happy just sitting here watching the players absolutely. that are on the court. Do I sometimes wonder why? Yep, and I'll ask my son, hey, why aren't you playing? Yeah, I'll, I can ask Nathan. But, uh He'll be like, oh, I don't know. Uh-oh. There's got to be a reason there. You know, I, I, the, the, I'm sure because Blackford hasn't done this style of basketball in a long time, but I hated it. Oh, Strobel for two. No, nope, no good. Mealy. But uh, Mealy oh. with the rebound, smacks Smack Dalton off. right in the face. <laughs> wow. And Strobel now Strobel again, no good. And Mealy gets boxed out yeah, by the big man. that was a good box out. And, and, and number 10 is going to throw that one away. away. <laughs> They had a nice little fast break going there. Yeah. Uh, Dalton Woman may want to check for a concussion after that <laughs> one because he got it right in the chops. Uh, what? That's quarterback throw to him? I, I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. And I'm here. I'm here to tell you. My daughter can tell you without a fact she got a concussion after playing dodgeball with that young man. Yeah. What are we doing here? I, I don't know. I've All never right. liked this <laughs> style of basketball. I don't like dribbling the ball around Strobel the outside, but Strobel comes in and gets the two points. We, we played this style of basketball two years ago, and we went one and I don't know. How many games yeah. do you play in a season? Uh, 20, 22. So they went one and 22 two years ago. I didn't like it then, and I don't like it now. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. But maybe this is something that the coaches – is one, he and he traveled again. Yep, I don't think he realizes that he's he's uh, hopping. Yeah, he stutter steps. And the coach is letting him know because he's still – I don't think he understands why he's traveling or why they're calling it. It's That's that fine. sophomore. Yeah. Um, here we go. What are we doing here? I, I don't – Oh, wow. Oh, Strobel falls down, picks, gets back up. He drives it right on in, takes a real easy there jumper, and there's two more points. The Blackford increases their lead to seven. Now if they can hold him one more time. Oh, he traveled. He pulled that foot. Yeah, they, I think they let him get away with a lot. 
But you know what? If it was a girls' game, they would not get away with anything. <laughs> I've noticed that girls get, I don't know, they almost get treated a little unfair when it comes to officiating. And the big oh, man puts up it. a little layup. Lost Good job posting it. up there. Yeah, it was. That's not bad for losing it on the way up. No. Nope. You know who he reminds me of? And I hate to say it because I thought that this player was horrible uh, in high school was Zach Randolph. Oh, yeah. That's what he reminds you of. This big in there. Uh-oh, here goes Luke. And a foul on 12. That should be. And we're looking up, three. and that's three for him. And we need, we still need to get that. Number. Oh, well, neither team is in bonus, of course, after the half. Uh, the Blackford has used the timeout, but uh, Winchester has not. And Brown's obviously taking it all the way back. And the arena here got really quiet yeah, all of a sudden. I'm not up. sure why. Uh-oh, here goes Luke. Luke up. Oh, oh it rings around and goes in. Ah. Little finger roll. We'll Rolled capture it too that many times. We haven't captured enough replays, so you got to start telling me here. Well, we Otherwise, I'll forget. <laughs> Uh-oh, see what the big man does. Uh-oh. And the big man's just going to post up Mealy. Oh, Kicks it back three. out to 10 for three, good. and that's good. That may be their new game plan. Yeah. Number Try 10. to beat us on the arc. 10's got 13. Luke pulls it back to the corner. He's hollering for uh, four. I don't, I'm not sure what that is because I think he yells four all the time. <laughs> he does. <laughs> but I don't see this four, what, what, what he's wanting to run. I've never seen before. All right, here we go. Back to Luke Brown. It looks like he may be running an Alexandria offense and just running uh -oh, some clock out. Drives in, and that and one's going to be good. You knew that Luke one was good. Luke wanted a foul, wasn't getting the call. And if you're wondering why it's taking me so long to get the score updated, it's because I'm capturing a bunch of replays to show you tonight on Facebook. Mealy at the top with the big man. Hand off to 20. And I got to tell you, Mealy has really put uh, 54 oh. in check here. And now Brown looks like he's coming in. Uh-oh, three. Out for the long three, Short. no good, but rebound goes to number 12, oh. and it's in. Terrible rebounding, terrible. Bruins just didn't have any good position there. There we go. Looks going to get that guy's fourth foul here in a minute. Brown just really I don't know what we're catching doing. his breath. Playing the Alexandria yep, style absolutely. offense. That's all it is. There we go. Luke in the middle again. Oh, kicks, kicks it out. out. Oh, it gets picked don't off. Don't foul. Don't foul. I was afraid we were going to foul him and get one. Yeah. Oh, somehow it's 40 to 42. I must have Over missed to a Mealy. couple shots. Mealy to White. White back to Luke Brown. Missed, the, missed Strobel going through the middle. Brown Both for a three. long three. And Bam! You just can't fight that one. No. There's not a lot you can do. We got to hold them again. And Coach Hoover hollering something at the boys. Uh oh, wow. And Mealy up in 54's face. Uh oh. I thought, I thought Luke was going for that. <laughs> 10 free throw line. No and good. Missed it. Rebound goes to 54. Oh, oh and Brown oh. steals it. Coach Hoover yelling for four. That four must be a good play. <laughs> they run it every time, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And now the fans are getting into it. They oh. do not like the way the Bruins are Coach running Hoover this over one. There. Brown kicks it over to Wilman. Wilman drives in. Oh. And Wilman gets stuffed, and he's down on the court, and he's oh, out man. of bounds. That saved us. That saved us a big time right there. Dalton's coming out. Wilman's coming out, and Nate, Nate Brown's Brown. coming in. And we got a full timeout by Winchester. 
And ESPN just notified us and wanted to know how many points Luke Brown has, and he has 28. Are you being serious? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking, oh. And with that, we're going to let Kevin catch up to his thoughts with a break. Are you looking for custom shirts for your organization, sports team, or just a fun shirt for vacation? Get a hold of Jordan Massey today on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. Contact Jordan with all of your special shirt designs and printing. His creations are amazing, and he even does special projects. Contact Jordan now on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. All right, we're back, and go ahead, give your shout-out. I got to give a big shout-out to uh, old Tony Skaggs. He said at home tonight, hopefully watching the game. Well, would be watching the game, but you know he's going to have to watch it on replay. Uh, but I told him I'd give him a shout-out since he always works my Fridays for me. Oh, uh, does so, he really? Yes, yeah, so I can tend to At the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. That's awful nice of him. Yeah, so I put him on every Friday. All right. Uh -oh. Thanks, Tony. Cramp already again. Drink some pickle juice like Luke. I'm telling you, I need to. Uh-oh. I just well, don't like pickle mark, juice. Mark and the big guy. Mark and the big guy at the corner. Oh, back to Luke. <laughs> One ten to go. It came again. What are we doing? You go ahead. Uh-oh. Over to Strobel. Strobel to Luke. Luke back at the top. Beckley pops up. Nathan pops up. Uh, Luke takes it to the corner. Under a minute to play. Blackford up 45-40. And now the student section starting to get a chant boring. Oh, there we go. But it doesn't uh -oh. really matter. Oh, and Brown. Oh, you don't want to do that to Luke Brown. Nope. Oh, oh pop white. that thing. White. Oh, and Brown oh. drives it in. Oh, he misses. Rebound uh -oh, goes uh -oh. to 54, and they've got Four a three on one. one. That's an easy two. Can't do that. Nope, if you're going to play that style, you have to score. Absolutely. And now we're under 15 to play here in the third. And the thing is, we're not getting them calls underneath. They're letting them bang loop. We got 4-3. Loop up. Look and up good. high. No foul called. Gets the two points. And Nobody. that's... That's going to do it for the third period. We're going to go to a break and come back with more uh -oh. of uh -oh. Blackford. Uh-oh, call. Ref's talking to Luke now. He didn't like that look Luke gave him. Are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave's Car Corner. They sell the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Stop in and see him today at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City, or give him a call at 765-348-5770. And we're back. And uh, Kevin Brown, I don't know if that any of that got on there, but the referee was talking to Luke. Yeah, I, you know, Luke went up for that, thought he got it fouled. Luke, referee wasn't calling it. I don't know. Luke's going to have a hard time now. Yeah. He's definitely not going to get any calls if the no, officials are no, wanting to talk absolutely. to him. So he's going to have to lay off of that and just let yeah, the absolutely. calls happen and as then, they may. Well, here's the thing, you know. Oh, yeah. my. Oh, wow. I took some bounce in the that was a little loud. So, anyway, with that, let's go ahead and go to a break so we can let these guys play their music, and we'll be right back after this. Are you suffering from neck, back, or joint pain? Clear Choice Chiropractic can help. From neck pain, migraines, stress, or a colicky baby, Clear Choice Chiropractic has the tools necessary to help you live pain-free. Call Dr. Malia Robertson today at 765-329-5044 and schedule an appointment. Don't live another day. Uh, Winchester All right, we're back. Forward. Sorry to have to stop that ad a little early, but you can uh, definitely talk to Clear Choice Chiropractic about all your back good pain defense. needs. Good defense. And good Nate block Brown. out by Nate Brown. Yeah, Nate Brown plays a good defense on that guy. And now we're back. <laughs> 47-22. Start of the fourth. We got to move it. Move it. Got to move, move it, move Brown. It. And oh. he got the five-second call. You can't hold on to the ball for that long, but you got to have somebody come and help yeah. you. Yeah. Nobody come to the ball. We all went away from it. Uh, and Nathan's coming got, out. <laughs> Nate got his few minutes, and now he's back off the court. Yeah. Uh-oh, putting Mealy back on the big guy. 
And Mealy with uh, two fouls. Uh, Mark White with two fouls. Oh, travel. And he got the travel. The good shot thing. was good, but the travel was yeah. called. And their coach is staring down that official. He didn't like that call at all. No, he didn't. And there it looked like he was. Free throw line. And good. that's good. And that may have just given the Bruins the motivation they need to, I hope, I hope. to close this game out. They need to, uh, like I said, play their game. It looked like they're. Uh-oh. End of the big man. Good defense, Mealy. Mealy. Oh, oh, and they're going to give him a foul? How do you oh. foul with your hands straight up nah, in the I air? I think it comes from the backside, either Mark or Dalton. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mark White gets yeah, the foul. Mark. The two points is good. Now 54 is going for the three-point play. 54 has got 17 points right now. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. yeah he has gotten all the, almost all the – well, no, uh, 10 has 15. Yeah. And he hits it. And I know that's what, at least five off of free throws? Yeah, absolutely. He's a good free throw shooter. He is. It didn't show in warm-ups. No. My boy is showing absolutely. in the game. Uh-oh. Oh, and what a move by Mark White, Luke Brown. Brown faked outside, came inside. They had he had both uh white jerseys uh biting on the outside pass. Big man at the top. Swing it across 22. 3. Oh. Nope. Down oh, low. Oh, oh, and Mark White, Mark White with the steal. The Bruins not in any hurry though to get it up nope. the court. Neely's got to do something with the ball. He dribbles. Taking it in. Uh-oh, he lost oh, the He gets goal. double teamed down low. Now Brown has the ball, moving it, it back. back out to the top. Woo. 51-45, uh -oh, under six to, to play. Up. Oh, and hey, he gets foul. the foul there. And that's going to be number 10, second of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you read Luke Brown's lips on that one. What'd he say? About time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that was an obvious one, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> and he hits his first one. Yeah. And he hits his first one. There we go. Kind of finally gets up on the board. Luke Brown now with 35 points. With 5.48 to play, now with 36. You noticed I called that one before it even happened. All right, we kick the lead up to eight. eight. Hold them one more time. Get us a 10-point lead here. Let's go 11. Okay, let's go 11. I like 11. 11's a more round uh -oh. number. Get the ball down to the big man, and, and it's off the it. rim. Good defense down low by the Bruins. It's a good thing he missed that because he was – he was uh, on a move to the bucket. Yeah, he was. There goes Luke. Luke to Mealy. Mealy looks over to White. Uh-oh. Luke backs it back out. Good oh, move. nice move by Brown. Oh, Off the mark. Wilman. Oh, man. Oh, out of bounds, Blackford ball. You know, I, wow. I think that official thought he wanted to oh, call I a foul so. there, but... He ends up going ahead and giving it to the Bruins. I don't know why he looked over this I way. I, thought he was I was wondering <laughs> if he was going to wait on one of these other officials to call it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Here goes Strobel. Oh, Strobel, Strobel out to Mealy. Mealy. Back to Luke. Luke backs up in the corner, runs some time off the clock. Now under five. Coach Hoover giving instruction to Luke, see what's going to happen. we got three guys out the volleyball line. Strobel back down. Dalton back to Luke. Luke's looking. Look, there he goes. Luke drives in. Ooh, oh, and, and that 54 foul. is going to get pick up his third. We got White 54, and now it looks like number 12 is coming in. I'm pretty sure he's got three fouls. Yeah, maybe. I thought that's why they took him out. Yeah, uh, maybe Hoover. two. Coach Hoover there yelling at Mealy, trying to keep up the good work on that big guy down there. And Brown hits his first one. Uh-oh. Coach Hoover trying to get a hold of Mealy. Look at it. <laughs> there it goes. 
Amelie's just giving him the head nod. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Coach Ubertown, keep his arms up. Don't reach. Don't do nothing. Let him bang. Yep. And, and now your 10-point lead. Luke Brown's got 38. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. Oh, a nice, oh, move, nice by move by number 10. I think Luke was playing that safe. I don't think he was going to pick up another foul. Are they calling him Sickles? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wade Sickles. Wade Sickles. Sickles, a good ball player. Uh -oh. Mark White. Oh, and misses. White gets his own rebound, puts it and back puts up, it back gets up. the two. Good move by Mark White. Let's go. Hold him one more time. 22, over to 12, 10. That's a shooter. That's a shooter there, too. Into the big man, turns. 54 and again, no shot. Mealy turning around. Uh-oh. And the ball back out. back out to the top. Mealy gets turned around, still playing defense. 20 for three. Misses. No good, and Mark, Mark White. White with the rebound. All right, Luke Brown looks up the clock, sees there's 3.38 to go. Blackford up 10. And the Bruins playing that Alexandria offense of holding on to the ball and not doing anything with it. Yeah, Luke, Luke's playing the uh, role of Avery Paddock from Alexandria. That's exactly what they did. That Avery Paddock was up at the top, and he just waited on the offense to break. And that's what Luke's doing. Yep. Maybe they're just trying to get the uh, – Uh-oh, we got – Falcons oh. tired, and they get it down to Mark White. Oh, man. He took a hard fall. He takes a really hard fall. White number 20. 20, and that's his first foul. I don't know. Coach Hoover was mad about that. I don't know what he's mad about. Oh, he didn't want a shot. He wanted it to go back out to the top. Oh. Coach Hoover trying to work that clock. Yes, he is. 2.56 remaining. Oh. And White misses his first one, and maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe. You know, I have uh, misaged the shot. Uh, Coach Hoover by a couple of years, and now we've got timeout Winchester. I've always thought that he was 83. Turns out he's 85. Uh, I think he's 84, turns 85 this year. Wow. Yeah. And with that, we're going to go to a quick break from our sponsor, FBM. Foundation Building Material is your building materials supplier for all your building materials needs. From drywall, steel studs, to Armstrong ceiling tile and insulation, Foundation Building Material is founded on principle and built on purpose. Contact Aaron Farrell today at 260-472-2181. And we're back, but we're going to go to another quick sponsor while Kevin and I figure out who we want to talk to after the game. Looking for custom shirts for your organization, sports team, or just a fun shirt for vacation? Get a hold of Jordan Massey today on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. Contact Jordan with all of your special shirt designs and printing. His creations are amazing and he even does special projects. Contact Jordan now on Facebook at Clothing as a Canvas. Uh, he only played like two minutes. Right, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back here, and again, we're talking about uh, who we want to come up here to uh, do a quick interview. Uh, and I know the kids have to get on the bus tonight, so we won't make it a really long interview. But if we can at least get one kid tonight, uh, we should be doing pretty well. I think I, I think we get Mark. Um, Mark White would be a good one. Yeah. I've, I haven't got Mark because Mark broadcasts with me. That's true. For That's the true. JV games. So I figure if he wants to say something, he's open mic. He can say whatever he wants. Right, yeah. But uh, he might be the one that we get. Or uh, missed. Mealy would be another good one with the defense that he's playing. Yeah, but, you know, we had Mealy last, week, or last true. Friday. So, Very true. So I think we got to go with Drake or Nathan. All right. Well, if Nathan. Uh, oh, Dalton. Drake. Oh, and a block. And that's oh, they're going to foul. Oh, that they're getting be. a foul. Yeah, Ooh. Dalton will move the hole. I don't know that that's a good call. Fifth. I think I might have to agree with the fans. Yeah, that's that, his fourth. That was a little bit of a, a bogus call because it looked like he had ball up against the backboard. I, 
I think it was the smaller guy underneath that got him with the body. <laughs> it might be. Because the big man, he, I think he, he had all ball. Yes. But they did call it on the yeah, big man. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Never turned down free th- shots. Right. And Wilman hits both of them. And there's 2.30 to play. Winchester trailing by 13 now. Spin move up and oh, the big man. Oh, and Mealy's going to pick up a foul. Mealy's straight up. And this guy's climbing all over him. <laughs> he wasn't straight up. I mean, we got to we got to put it out there the way it was. He yeah. he had his arms down uh, and probably was putting a little bit too much body on him. Uh, and he misses his I guess his first free throw miss. Isn't it? Huh? Isn't that his first free throw miss? Did he miss? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, he left it short. He has not missed yet. He's getting tired. And, and he, he hits, hits his second. second. Here we go. Full court press. And we're going. They're putting two people on Luke. Oh. They had Dalton down low. And now we're going to have a foul on, on number 12. 12. And since Jerry Brown is sitting in our way here, we're going to have to. Pop up the, Jerry Hoover, Hoover sorry. <laughs> and here we go. Jerry Brown. Yeah, you like that? Oh, Luke. Uh-oh, the big man. Oh, and Luke gets it right back. But it goes right back to Winchester. Three. Three. Miss. Off the mark, Luke rebound Brown. by Luke. And, man, that did you see that yeah. hand come yeah. down? number 20. Trying to hit him. Under two minutes to play. Why does Mark White have like to hold the ball? I don't know. Stop holding the ball Over when the you're not across the half-court line. Oh, yet. wow. But that's on 12. That's his. Uh, they don't have him up, up there, there on the board. Oh, on 10. And we are in bonus now. That's 10's number. That's his third foul. 10 has three, 22 has three, 54 with four. Mealy and White both with three right now. One and one, Brown hits the first. The Bruins up by 13 again. A minute 38 on the clock. Brown with 39 points. And he hits his 40. Brown now with 40 points on the night. Winchester pushing them off the court. Oh, and a foul. we're going to have a foul on, on White. I don't know who it was on. 25. 25. Oh, on Oh, Luke. yeah, you knew that was coming because that was a guy that wanted to talk to Luke underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just getting revenge back on Luke. Eh. That is what it is. It's high school and we're winning. Hey, that's all right. So it doesn't matter. Luke's got three more. Let him foul out. Luke's got three more. Yeah. Luke out there talking to himself. Yeah. Oh, what was that? I, I think it was an inadvert throw to the player. I don't so they get, so get a player up underneath. And he hits, and he hits a second. Winchester trails by 12. Ooh. Luke Brown driving through. Uh-oh. Stroke. All right. Bruins really. moving the ball around. And now they're going to get the foul call. Number 22 is going to pick up his fourth. fourth. And Brown's going to end up with at least 42 on the night. Uh, Did I just jinx him? Nah, you're all right. He didn't hear us. I sure hope so. Because if it's my fault he misses, I'm not going to be a happy man. I jinxed it the other night. Did you really? That was all your fault. Oh, Oh, and I did. (laughs) You won't hear me saying that again. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, a nice block by Brown. A minute 10. Two people out defending Luke. Luke takes it in and it's Gets fouled and the bucket. Boom. I don't know who that was on. And he does end up with 42. That's his fourth. 10 with four fouls and I think it's up. Nathan Brown in and Mark White's back out. 101 to go. Luke Brown shooting. One. one and one. Oh, no, one. one. Yeah, just one. one. It's up and it's good. It's good. Yeah. 
And the Falcons trailing by 15 now. Three-pointer up. And I think that Short. one was tipped by Strobel. Thank you. Tipped it right back into the Bruins, he and the Bruins are going to hold foot. it. Nate Brown. Oh, look at Dribble the ball. Dribble. There, there you go. go. Over to Dalton. Dalton to Strobel. Looking for Luke. All right, Luke's got it at the top. What's he going to do? Gets it to Nathan. Gets dribble. You got to dribble, dude. 30 seconds to play, and it doesn't look like Falcons are going to try to foul and, and uh, make us shoot them at the line. They're just going to let the clock run out. The Bruins fans that are here are clapping and cheering because they know that with 14 seconds now, the Bruins have won. They're holding it. 10, 7, 5, 3, and two. Strobel's just going to hold on to it. it. Blackford wins. That's going to be the ball game. 50. And let's go to a couple ads before we get into the post-game show, and we'll be right back after this. Are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave's Car Corner. They sell the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Stop in and see him today at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City. Or give him a call at 765-348-5770. All right, we're back. The Bruins win 65-50 to here in Winchester, Indiana, home of the Winchester Falcons here at the Fieldhouse. Uh, it looks more like uh, they say it's their old gym. I'm guessing this is like uh, the equivalent of the old Marion High School Coliseum. Uh-oh. She looks bad. Does she really? Yeah. Oh, boy. No, she's not uh, bad. Look like it. And with that, we're going to be right back before anybody figures out who we were talking That's about. Right. Wow. Are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave's Car Corner. They sell the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Stop in and see him today at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City, or give him a call at 765-348-5770. And we're back. Again, the Bruins win 65 to better, 50. Better be careful. We're going to get unplugged here. Huh? <laughs> this guy's yanking this cord up over here. Oh, he man, I hope us. he doesn't unplug us. <laughs> All right. And so, boogie. <laughs> <laughs> if he does, uh, we'll still be good because we'll still have a little bit of power left. Um, we just won't have any video. So, keys to the game, defense – and hitting your shot in the second half, and the Bruins sure did come through with that one. Yeah, we did. We got. I, I, I'm gonna say we got lucky tonight. Um, you think so? Yeah. Oh yeah. We we didn't play our game. Um, no, that's obvious. You know, we we had we were trying to force too many shots. Um, you know, but then again, you know, Luke was <laughs> Luke was all right. <laughs> I think you're seeing what I'm seeing now. Let's go to a quick break, yes. and we'll talk about this for a second. Are you suffering from neck, back, or joint pain? Clear Choice Chiropractic can help. From neck pain, migraines, stress, or a colicky baby, Clear Choice Chiropractic has the tools necessary to help you live pain-free. Call Dr. Malia Robertson today at 765-329-5044 and schedule an appointment. Don't live another day in pain. Call now, 765-329-5044. Thank you. We just had a fan tell us that he watches our live stream. And, and to anybody who does uh -oh. watch it, we uh -oh. do appreciate it. I'm guessing that uh, Blackford fans having a little bit of trouble with Winchester fans? Must be. I don't know. You got to uh, 65-50, Ted. Uh, and, all right, so back to what we were talking about. Keys to the game were defense and hitting your shots. The Bruins were able to do that in the second half, but still without playing their game. And uh, I want to say that uh, number 54 only ended up with 18 points on Eight, the game. 18 or 19 points. And number 10 with uh, 17, if 17, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and you know, you got to give credit to Caleb Mealy out there. Oh, uh, Mealy was definitely. You know, he, he played the whole game and didn't get in foul trouble. That was, <laughs> that was, uh, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, and anybody uh, who knows Mealy knows that he does have a tendency to get into foul. Oh, yeah. But, you know, did you, uh, in the first half, you know, he, he pretty much take, took that 54 out of the game. You know, yes. he, I mean, they're trash talking each other. And, uh, 
Neely stayed in. That 54 had to come out. Yep, exactly. Um, so good for him. And uh, so, and and then I think it was um, Beckley. Beckley was face guarding number 10. 10? And yeah. uh, was really keeping him in check as well. So uh, really good job by the Bruins tonight, keeping uh, their top players absolutely uh, where they needed to be. Now, I do have uh, quite a few replays. Do you want to go through any of them? No, I don't, I don't need to. Uh, no? All I'll right. trust you. No, I, we can we can show them to the fans tonight. Uh, and yes, Luke with forty three points on the night. Hey, yeah. there's old Danny and Karen. Danny there. <laughs> I was desperate tonight. Both of my other co-hosts left. Couldn't yeah, make it. I, you know, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling <laughs> guilty here because uh, the last two times, or the, tonight and the other night when I was on. We had to record. We couldn't go live. Yeah. <laughs> no live. That's the second time he's not been able to go live with me. Well, Steve, I don't think we're going to get in there. They're starting to come out. I don't think we're going to anybody come out and talk to us tonight. Yeah, that may be. I think uh, they're ready to hit the bus and head on out. Uh, you know, with a 40-some minute Absolutely. ride home, um, probably uh, going to be a hard Hard time getting some of them. Right. Yeah, I mean, the are, cheerleaders are already heading in. Right. I think they're trying to get on the bus as quick as they can get out of get out of this town. Yep, might uh, be. We're going to give them just a few more minutes. I'll get to another ad real quick, and we'll be back. And, yes, for those of you who watch this later on, uh, Luke Brown ends up with 43 points on the night, and that should increase his, lead, or his uh, points per game to – to almost 40. Oh, yeah, you know, there's no doubt. Um, we haven't gotten anybody yet, Danny. We're waiting. You you want to, you want to, yeah. <laughs> Come on up for that interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting to let's go wrap it up. He's not very good. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're doing now. Yeah. You're getting the wife to come over. So we're going to interview the wife, huh? No, she's she's <laughs> she's trying to get me to wrap it up. Wrapping it up, right? <laughs> so that's why you wanted us to drop it quickly. <laughs> School night, work night. School night, work night. I agree. I have to be up early in the morning. Hey, so, I get to sleep in. I got to work afternoons tomorrow. We're I good. Don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't see any of the players coming out, so we're going to let this ad go. And once it's done, if we don't have anybody, we're going to come. Foundation Building Material is your building materials supplier for all your building materials needs. From drywall, steel studs, to Armstrong ceiling tile and insulation, Foundation Building Material is founded on principle and built on purpose. Contact Aaron Farrell today at 260-472-2181. All right, we're back, and we're going to let the players go ahead and jump on the bus and get to the get back home because they've got to get up early for school tomorrow. Uh, your wife's already uh, bugging you to come home, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and end this right now. And uh, like I say, it'll be uploaded here in about an hour to YouTube. And uh, Kevin, I appreciate you coming in and filling in. Hey, I appreciate uh, it for both of the other guys. Uh, it was a lot of fun having you. I, I like doing it, Steve. Uh, anytime. Yeah, I'm gonna kick Grant Banner out. You, you need to kick Grant out because nobody knows Grant's not even on the on the squad. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we got a countdown of three, two, one, and we'll catch you later. On behalf of the Blackford Sports Network, we would like to thank the athletic departments of both schools and thank you for watching this broadcast of the Blackford Bruins. Remember to see our sponsors and thank them for giving us the opportunity to broadcast live with you.